if you give a group of math students a question like 20 divided by 5 times 2, you might get two different answers from the group depending on how they applied the mathematical operations of multiplication and division. In this video, I'm going to explain the order of operations, particularly the issue of uh, Bodmas or Bomdes. Uh, I'll start by explaining the meaning of the acronyms themselves. What do they represent? What is the B for? What is the O for? What is M, D, A, S uh, representing? Then I'm going to do an example to illustrate uh, a question where we, we have some sort of ambiguity. It does not exist, but some people will think it exists if they don't apply the rules correctly. I will start with the issue of the acronym, what they stand for. So if you look at bold mass b is for brackets o is for orders d is for division and m is for multiplication then we have a for addition and s for subtraction the brackets are brackets they can either be square brackets or the rounded brackets so on, on brackets here we can have square brackets or rounded brackets so this can be square uh, rounded brackets or square brackets or any other form of, of brackets. If you have brackets, you start by simplifying or working out what is inside those brackets. Then from brackets, we go to orders. Orders are exponents or roots. So after evaluating or after simplifying the bracket or what is inside the bracket, you go to orders or uh, which are exponents or roots. Then from there, you go to division. I'm going to say here, you go to division and multiplication because these two are on the same level. So they have the same level. Division is on the same level as multiplication. Then we also go to addition and subtraction because they are also on the same level. Same level. Now, the question usually arises when it comes to division and multiplication because there are times when if you start with division, you get a different answer than what you get if you start with multiplication. Even though we say they are on the same level. So for many students, they interpret that statement as saying it does not matter which one you start with. It shouldn't matter or it doesn't matter in many of uh, the problems that you may face. But there are times when your answer depends on what you started with. That's what, that is what I'm going to explain with an example. The, the same applies to addition and subtraction. Although it does not matter here, addition and subtraction, whether you start with addition or whether you start with subtraction, you get uh, the same answer. So same level on addition and subtraction actually means same level. It does not matter which one you start with. But when it comes to division and multiplication, there are times when same level does not really mean same level. That is what I'm going to explain in this uh, video. So let me go to an example. If we have 20 divided by 5 and times 2, if we start with, if we start with division, so if we start with division, we divide here, it means we're going to say 20 divided by 5, we get 4, and we multiply by 2, we get 8. Yet, if we start with multiplication, we're going to say 5 times 2, we get 10, uh, which means then we go to division, which is 20 divided by 10, we get 2. We have different answers here. And if we are interpreting that statement of division and multiplication are on the same level, someone will say, yeah, we, the, uh, both of us are correct because uh, we are doing the same thing. We are respecting Bodmas or Bomdas. In fact, there are people who use it as bombers. Then there are people who, who, who say it is bombers. 
port mask. There are other variations like PEMDAS, ETC, ETC. Now, all of them should give you the same answer. It does not matter which one you use because there is a rule that is applied in this case. There is a rule that is applied in this case. And it is usually that rule that people tend to forget. So let us go to the rule that applies when you have multiplication and division. And depending on what you start with, you get a different answer. This is the rule that you apply. Okay, so we have 20 divided by 5. 20 divided by 5. times 2. We're looking for this answer and we know bombers, we know both maths. Now, the rule is if we have multiplication and division, we work from left to right. If we have got multiplication and division, we work from left to right, which means whichever comes first from left to right, that is what you start with. In our case, we're going to start with division because division comes first, then multiplication comes later. We're going to start, start with division using that rule. This means every student of mathematics who understands this rule or these rules of order of operations, every student should get the same answer that I'm going to get here. Now let us do this question. This means 20 divided by 5. 20 divided by 5, which is what we're going to do first. And then after this, the answer that we get, we multiply it by 2. This means 4 times 2, which gives us 8. So the answer in this case, it is 8 not two. What is the rule? I'm going to repeat again. If we have got multiplication and division, because they are on the same level, you work from left to right. The operation that comes first from left to right is the operation that you're going to apply. This is very clear. This is quite clear. All right. If you have any other question, or if you will need clarity on something, just write in the comment section below. Otherwise, give a thumbs up to the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.